I'm a big advocate for the use of RSS readers, uh, which allow a user to follow multiple websites. In this case, I'm mostly, mostly interested in blogs <clears throat> and to uh, identify new content new content that's been posted. So instead of having to go out to maybe 20 or 30 different locations to see if anything new is there, what an RSS reader will do is to let you know uh, when any new content has been added across all of the blogs you follow or a particular blog. So, so this is um, an, an RSS reader I recommend. It's called uh, Inno Reader. It's uh, free as long as you are interested in following 150 or fewer sites. Certainly, uh, that would be enough to get you started and see if you want to pay uh, for um, a much larger approach. Um, so trying the free version would certainly be the most logical thing to do uh, in getting started. And it has many different features. The free version allows note taking but not highlighting. Um, you know, and basically as a personal um, RSS system, you know, I, I don't highlight within the system itself. So it's really just a way to, to follow a bunch of sites and see what's new. So I'm going to show you how to, uh, to add um, blogs to the reader. That's really the only thing you need to know once you download the reader itself to, to, to do the most basic stuff, which is to see what's new and read it or see what's new and use the address um, to open up in your browser and maybe save to some other system. Um, so I, I, I have a, another blog here. Um, it's from Education Next. And the one thing I need to get here is just the address for the blog. So I'm coming up here at the top, you see, and uh, I'm going to copy this and then bring it back to uh, Inno Reader. And if I come down to the end of the list of the blogs I already follow, you'll see the plus and add new. So I'm going to uh, select add new. I'm going to add a new feed. And it, it actually makes recommendations, which is fine to explore, but I know specifically what I want. So I'm going to enter that. It's going to go out now and uh, explore that site. Give it a second here. And it finds a bunch of things there because the slash blog at the end of the address is really looking at uh, a site that has many other features. Uh, I specifically just want the blog, so I'm going to come down here, and this is where I'm going to get the blog. And then I'm going to subscribe to this, which I should have done. And so now if you look back here, you'll see that uh, it, it has been added. Education Next here at the top. If I uh, click on Education Next, um, there is a minimum because, you know, you may, may have hundreds of posts. And so when you first subscribe, it brings in a, a minimum, the most recent posts. And so those are what you now see. So that's pretty much all, all, all there is to it. So, you know, you know look up in a reader. I will give you more information outside of this video uh, for how to locate it. Um, once you start it, you need to then say, okay, here are the sites or here are the blogs I want to follow. And then you want to enter them as I showed you. And once they're entered, it will start, you know, showing you content. And again, the long-term value here isn't accumulating all this content. It's really seeing what new um, has been added so that you can um, more efficiently uh, follow the sites that you're interested in following.